We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today we're going to butcher some French and we're going to review an RDA by Volutes Mods out of France and it's the Vuban. Uh, this is a 22mm RDA, it's a squonker, uh, you can also drip with it, it comes with both 510 pins. It is made from 304 grade stainless steel, uh, 316 stainless steel screws if I remember correctly. It's about 20 millimeters in height and it is. it comes with Ultim inserts. So you can take this from pretty cloudy, I mean lots of air, uh, down to what I would consider um, a, a loose-ish mouth to lung. Does it all. Uh, it is, if I remember right, it's about 120 euros and it should there were pre-orders in the Facebook group, if I remember right, and I think they've been posted out now. They do have a shop, online shop, and the gear normally goes up for sale on there also. So keep an eye on the, the actual shop page or join the Facebook group and get updates there. As usual, we'll cover everything else as we do the close-ups and the summary at the end. As usual from these guys, everything always comes so well presented. Uh, I mean, it is really beautifully done. And on the base, oh, sorry, around here, you can see that we have a serial number. If I remember right, I, I, I've, I've been using this for a few weeks. Uh, I've just cleaned it and put it back in the box. I think that's what it looked like when it came. I also, they sent on uh, these coils. I don't think you get these coils with it, but they, they did send them on, so I, I will use them since they're they're French. You're going to get a packet, and in that packet there are going to be spare O-rings, uh, your standard 510, and a spare post screw as well. Uh, but also you will have Ultim inserts and tiny little gaskets or O-rings. Now I'll put a list of all the various sizes uh, down below, but uh, these are your inserts. Now hopefully you can see there, there is, I've taken one of those little O-rings. You do have to use those O-rings, oops, uh, round the back of the, you can see it's just round the back of the insert there. That makes sure that they have a snug fit when you insert them into the atty. And actually, I've just got uh, Nicholas on uh, Facebook Messenger, and he's just clarified those coils. Uh, they are not for; they don't come with the Atty. They are actually for sale on their website. But uh, this is the deck. Now, hopefully, this is going to show up well. Uh, now, remember, I've been using this. Uh, so we have the the Volutes Mod little logo here. We have the name and the serial number etched on there, and. Yes, it is the standard, you know, the two post thing that we've seen everywhere else. But uh, this has been done really, really well. Uh, you know, you've got a, a slot for putting your coil rod in. Uh, that's where your inserts go in. Obviously, you've got one on either side. We have an O-ring here, which holds the cap on really well. Um, but the machining on this is really nice. Uh, I'm not going to take that away from it. It's really nice. Flathead screws, and it's once again you you've you've seen this design as in the two posts and this you you've seen it, but this approach that they've taken here with the machining and everything, I like it. Now once again you do get various you know different sizes of these inserts here, and I'm just going to pop that in, and you know it's got a nice tight fit, no problems, but uh, yeah once again you do have to put these little um, O-rings on the back in order to get that fitment. Um, if you do not use them, then they're on the loose side and you'll get air, you know, coming in everywhere. So, yes, I'll, I'll tell you more about how I feel at that at the end. But uh, they are pretty straightforward to put in. You know, just pop them in like that. Little push. And there you go. So you can see how the air is coming in there. Now these are the, the, the most open ones, so this is the most airflow that you're going to get through this. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pop a coil in and go for a run. But before we do, I'll show you the top cap. As you would have seen in the video at the start, there are three different finishes you can get. And, and excuse me, I've just rubbed this on my jumper, a standard Vapor Affair. Uh, it's usually a lot more shiny than this, but uh, it is. It's, it's the polishing on it's done really, really well. Uh, the finishing on this is, I, I, I'm struggling to fault it. Uh, you, you know, you just have your standard top cap in there. There is a little bit of a, a dome effect going on also. Uh, we have this effect up the top. You, a 510 drip tip will go inside this. 
a standard 510 drip tip will fit in here but this does unscrew. I don't know if they're going to do accessories or anything for this, uh, for the you know the drip tip up the top. But uh, yeah, I, I just a, a 510 drip tip does fit. So if I wanted to, I could pop that in there like that or something like this. But I will say, if, if you're going for the, the really tight mouth to lung with this, then yes, you, you, you can't use this bore here. It's just too wide. Now, if you wanted to, you would probably get thin gauge wire in there. Uh, you can see as I put the screw down, see it's, it's right against here, you know, so it's, you're not going to have loose wire in there. Uh, so they, they've done a good job on that also. The coil that uh, came in that little tub, it's a 0 0.4 ohm coil, and you can see that it's uh, it's actually cut to length. It's, it's the right length for this atty. And uh, sorry, I should point out, I got these coiling rods. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. I actually bought these, um, but they're, they're you know they're shell casings. They're really really nice. Uh, but uh, we'll just we'll just drop this in here. It's so easy to put a coil in here. Uh, really really easy, just like that. Now I've just pulsed this and it's come out at 0 0.37. Uh, now, uh, hopefully you can see that, that, I mean this is where the coiling rod lands the actual coil. Uh, I, me personally, I, I tend to lift it up just a tiny little bit. Uh, you know, if you, if you look through here, you can almost see the coil square on there. I just like it a little bit higher, but that, that's personal preference. It's up to you at the end of the day. Uh, you can, you know, you should play about with these things and see what suits the way you vape. I should say as far as squonking goes, uh, you can see here if I push my squonk bottle, it fills up no problem. It's um, it's not a leaker, it's not a gusher. This one, you know, I can get a healthy push on my squonk bottle uh, before it goes anywhere near the actual air holes. Cotton, pretty straightforward. And just as usual, you're just going to fold it back and pop it down into the deck there. Like that. The only thing you have to make sure you do is, uh, so obviously we've got air coming in through here, so I'm just going to make sure that uh, I pull back, push back my cotton. See I'm pushing it back there, just to make sure that the air is going to get inside there and is not getting blocked off by any cotton. Uh, also once you saturate the cotton uh, it's going to expand, so go back in and make sure that you're not blocking off that airflow. Pop my top cap on. Uh, now obviously, you, you know, you can, uh, I'm, I'm putting this down, it's not going down properly. I'll just give these inserts a little squeeze there, make sure they're in, and down she goes. So pop that down, and that's me. Uh, so uh, this is, sorry, this is my old uh, from uh, Neo Mods. This, not Neo Mods, 67 Mods. Uh, was it the Neo 60? This was a prototype one. But uh, yes, that, that does look rather pretty. And uh, aside from my fingerprints, you can dial this down. Obviously, there's nothing locking the top cap in place, so you can spin this and take it down further. Uh, this will also kick in when I find the, what have I done with them? Yeah, the, the tiny little um, air inserts. So you can dial it down to just one air hole here and go for, you know, a good old mouth to lung if you want. I do love that, uh, I, I love the, you know, polished, polished it just looks really nice the only thing i will say is that uh, sometimes because it, it, the o-ring is perfect on this but it's a, just verging on the tight side not the t it can with the polished top cap it can make it a bit of a chore getting it off but that's possibly just down to the fact that my hand's still broken uh, but uh, it is a little bit tighter than some other rdas i own so uh, i have the the biggest air inserts in here just now and lots of air, hint of a restriction to it. It's, yes, for a 22mm RDA, um, it, the, the, the airflow is bang on, fully open. If you want lots of air through a 22mm RDA, this is as, as much as you would really want, in my opinion. Um, yes, you can dial it down, you can take it from this, which I would call a, a slight hint of a restriction on a direct lung. So it's an RDL, restricted direct lung, but a slight hint of a restriction. Uh, you do have a restricted direct lung option, then you have a loose mouth to lung, and so it, it does cover all of the bases. Uh, the way it's machined is, is done very, very well. It's a pretty RDA. 
I can't take that away from it. As I said, it's the it's the usual opposing two post design RDA. I mean, I have lots of them. Uh, same basic design, uh, but this is machined really, really well. Uh, I do like the air inserts on this. The only thing I will say about the, the air insert, the Ultim air inserts, is that there is a part of me that... <laughs> I'm going to say it. Um, you do have to put a little o-ring round that insert for it to get a tight fit, a good seal inside the RDA. I do wish that you didn't need that. I wish that they, they you know, they were machined. The tolerances were that tight that, uh, you know, you you didn't have to use a little o-ring to make sure it fitted okay. That's for me. That's the one con I've got against this. That's. Airflow, flavour, machining, the looks, everything, tick, 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 tick. Love it. Really good. Um, it's just the one little black mark for me. I just wish you didn't need those little O-rings. That's it. Um, the other thing is, this is machined in China. This is made in China. And it just goes to show, and I say, I've said this before, and I know there's people going, <gasps> China. Um, it just goes to show if you pay for it, you can get excellent, excellent machining out of China, uh, uh, excellent finishing. And this is it. This is just bang on. Uh, we'll have a quick vape. So once again, it was about a 0 0.37 ohm coil, 2.5 millimeter inner diameter. I'm at my usual 25 watts. We've got full air going on here. And that is as good as any RDA I have. It is. It's it's like the Wicked, um, or the Rewicked. You know, it, it, it's they are designs we've seen over the past few years. You know, the two posts. They've got the angle they are coming in, but they've put their spin on it. They've done it well. So you're you're getting good flavour from it. And yes. The other thing I don't maybe like is the fact that this is not... Uh, yes, you can put a 510 drip tip on top of this. It does make this a bit higher. Um, I, I maybe wish it was just a standard 510 drip tip. Maybe that's it. Uh, so if you're going for a mouth to lung, if you do want a mouth to lung from this, which you can do, um, but loose, a loose mouth to lung, um, you will need a, a narrow bore drip tip there because you can see that that's, that's just too, too wide for any sensible kind of mouth to lung vape. Squonking, I can, wrong hand, squonking, I can squonk away there. Just give it a quick push in the bottle, obviously depending on how soft your bottle is. Uh, I don't find it gushes everywhere. The deck is much the same depth as all the other 22mm RDAs in this style. Doesn't bother me, it's made in China. Not one bit. Uh, I, I, yes, I like this. I like this a lot. It's a good, solid RDA. I think you also get um, a blank insert as well. Not a blank, but, uh, you know, there, there's no air will go through. A solid one. That's the word I was looking for. You get a solid one as well. So maybe if you do want to go true mouth to lung, you can block one side off. So 510... Not a 510 drip tip. I, I, well, you can fit a 510 drip tip in there. I wish it was a standard 510, if you know what I mean. I, I'm not a fan of the O-rings to go around the inserts. I wish they, they were machined within tolerance so that you just had to push them in and, the, and that was it. Um, and other than that, yeah, two thumbs up. I will still give it a two thumbs up. I like it that much. Uh, how you feel about where it was made is entirely down to you. That's that's your call. Uh, I'm sure there's, there'll be the usual people saying the usual things about that. Me, quite frankly, I don't care. Uh, Volutes Mods, another good RDA. So, to you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, these will be available on their website before long. Uh, they'll be available on a website. And uh, until next time, bye for now.